Hello everyone, welcome back to Sci Fishes. I'm just having a browse through baits, boilies, dips and glugs. Just going through my range of different baits I've tried over the last couple of years. And I was just thinking how important it is to pimp your baits. So let's have a look what I've been doing with my baits in the past. Now these worked amazingly well down on Elphick's Kettles Lake. Me and my best mate Dan was using these on a really rainy session and the action was non-stop. I do think these baits really work well in autumn. The sauce made by dynamite. And if you take a look how good these look. Just by pouring a little bit of syrup or hook bait or whatever you've got that goes along with your bait of choice this can improve your catch rate dramatically it really can I think these probably have been sitting in there at least two years maybe three years as long as that but as long as you keep even if you're not using the bait every now and then you get the tub give it a good shake make sure they're still coated each and every one inside and if they're looking a bit dry, just top it up with the liquid again. So these were coated in the hook dip, but you don't have to use the hook dip, you can use other stuff. Let's take a look down here. So this CC Moore Live System hook bait booster. But you can use this for more than just hook baits. Even your free offerings that you're putting out of the lake. If you put a few glugs of this in, and it can really coat a whole bag of boilies. So let's do an example of what they end up looking like. So you can see the boilies currently as they will come out of the pack. And they'll catch your fish, but just by pimping it up, you're going to give yourself an even bigger chance of catching fish. So as an example, just going to pour some baits out. There you go. Put some there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this bag with a bait spray. So let's pump this into there. Decent amount, might be more than I need, but there's no harm in overdoing it. And then going to shake it about upside down all over the place keep shaking until they are completely coated and as you can see they're glistening with that glaze on a little bit more they just need a bit more and another shake and you can see the difference already they're going to be more flavoursome they're going to smell more and I imagine over time the baits have become softer. They're fairly soft anyway. Let's see if I can squash one. They're fairly soft anyway, but over time with the oil or the glug or the liquid or the syrup, whatever you're putting on them, these baits will get even softer and make them more digestible for the carp. And you can see the difference already between the two baits. Another thing you can do, you can get powders that can go with the bait of choice. I haven't got any powder with me for an example, but you do exactly the same thing. You put a kind of liquid or a glug or syrup into the bag with your boilies. And along with that, you'll put the powder in there too. Shake it around till they're completely coated as well. So if you take a look at one of these that I did add flavour to before, they look pretty dry on top. So always remember, if these are left sitting for a long time, the liquid you're putting in, whether it's syrup, hook bait spray or whatever it is, you can see it's travelled to the bottom. So let's put some of this in. They're quite dry. Try a bit more. Let's give them a shake. Mm. 
it does help when there's actually less pop-ups or less boilies in the bag because they can move around more freely and coat better so if you find it difficult if you've got a whole bag of boilies that are brand new maybe take out half pour the liquid in shake them around and it will help them to coat quicker let's have a look now Whee, that's what you want to see look at the gloopiness can you see it clinging shake, shake, shake. look at that that is what you want to see so even if you're not using the baits you can pimp them up ready for whenever you're going to use them but always remember to check that they're not drying out and just top up the syrup or liquid or whatever you're using ready for your next session so I'm sure you've got tons of pop-ups, wafters and other baits hidden away that you don't always use but <laughs> it's always good to top up whichever ones you've got you may not need them straight away but whenever you want to use them they'll be ready for your next session so I thought while I've got everything out I might as well have a little chat about all the different baits I've got here the sauce worked amazingly when it was coming to autumn when the weather was cooling down but when winter came around um, things slowed down on the sauce so this is more more of an autumn bait for me as you can see I had a go with the Nutribate trigger and it just and it just wasn't very really good to be honest I did a bait versus bait video where I think this was up against Scopet squid I had a couple of fish on trigger but the majority of fish came on the Scopet squid and that's one of the reasons that is my main bait Scopet squid it's been around for years it's a winner lots of people you still use it lots of people catch tons of fish on it and that's why I just stick with Scopet squid I mean like most people you hear about new baits and that's why I've got different ones I've tried out I was watching videos of Elfix because I fish there often and Adam Honeyset he uses key baits and if you've seen any of Adam Honeyset's videos he catches tons of fish and he always seems to do well no matter where he's going and this is what he was using down in Elfix key baits ASM it absolutely stinks it's one of the worst strongest potent smelling baits ever don't have it in your house I'm in my garage at the moment if you open this in your house your missus will not like you for the rest of the year so that's the ASM I've got boilies as well I've not really given it a chance yet I've tried it a couple of times not done too well so then I've gone back to the Scopet squid but I'm sure if uh, Adam Honeyset does really well on it it must be a really top bait I don't know why it says pellet when they're boilies and another bait that is amazing tiger nuts um, I used them years ago on a lake down um can't remember where I was somewhere near Hastings and the fish went berserk not many people were catching fish I was using tiger nuts and I was awake all night long run after run fish after fish so when the carp get a taste for tiger nuts they really are on it and with these sticky baits peach and pepper I really did fall for the marketing <laughs> Tom Maker did a video where he was I think it was a spotting video he was using these as the hook bait and he was having fish after fish but um, they didn't do anything for me I've tried them a few times and I've just not done very well so that's why these are left in my bait bucket and they're not glugged up and I don't really want to use them again to be honest now this is a classic Robin Red by Dynamite Baits <coughs> unbelievable it really is a good bait each time I've used it I've caught fish it doesn't quite match up to me scopex squid but if you're looking for a bait that's been around for years you can't really go wrong with Robin Red lots of well-known baits 
established baits have this as an ingredient in the robin bread itself i think krill's got it in you can probably tell by the color um, yeah if you look in the ingredients of some really top baits they all have robin red in not all of them some have robin red in so if you're looking for a bait a new bait give robin red a try mainline cell i'm not going to say very much about this you'll probably know that it's an amazing bait it's probably my second favorite bait coming second to scopex squid and <laughs> what the hell are these I just saw these on Amazon and I thought that might make an interesting video for when I do my bait versus bait videos pineapple zombie I never caught any fish on them has anyone heard of radical baits if you do well on radical baits just let me know in the comments I'll be interested to know and you might be wondering why I've got porridge oats in my bait bucket this is for when I did my American fishing video. I wasn't in America. I was down at Hartley Lands Fishery. And I attempted for the first time to use pack bait. Um, and I couldn't find the actual ingredients that I needed, but this was as close as I could get. I blended up some sweet corn, mixed it with the oats, mixed it with some flavouring, and I've done fairly well. And this will be controversial. I've never caught a fish on CC Moore Live System. I know. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I've never caught. I've blanked every time I've used it. And one last thing that I found in the bottom of my bait bucket. Pork luncheon meat. Amazing bait. Always has been. Always will be. If, you've, if you're a bit tight on money just get some pork luncheon meat a very cheap bait probably a quid or 150 or something I suppose it's a bit difficult to get it to stay on the hook or on the hair but there's little contraptions out nowadays like you get these curly things that hang from your hair that twist into the luncheon meat itself search online I can't remember what they're called but, but there is ways of making your luncheon meat stay on the hair or on the hook easier just search online oh my god <laughs> where did that come from I've got to get back into the house and put all my bait away in my fishing shed I'm gonna get soaked so thanks for tuning into this video hope you enjoyed it hope you learned a few things hope I've given you some ideas for bait to use if you've been struggling a bit lately I would suggest the scope at squid because that's that's just a superb bait it's been around forever red robin is superb or the cell by mainline they're all good baits and by pimping up your baits using glugs liquids syrups oils it really will improve how many fish you catch i'm sure of it give it a go let me know in the comments if it does improve your fishing i'll see you in the next one <laughs> Is it just me or does all fishermen just love the smell of bait, fishing bait? Well, it depends on what it is. If it's ASM, then no. But this is a essential cell. Smells, smells good. <laughs> it just makes me think of when I was young, when I used to go float fishing, using all different ground baits, getting it all under your fingernails, all the bait smells. Anyway. <laughs>